So in a couple of weeks time, we are going to get this basement ceiling insulated, which is hope is gonna help tremendously with a couple of bedrooms that we have over this side of the house that are just ice cold. We're really struggling to, to keep them warm. Uh, but what before we get the insulation in, what I wanna do is have a cleanup of a lot of these uh, cables that we have in here. This, these guys wired for everything. Previous owners, they wired for everything, piped for everything. Um, some stuff I'll be able to take care of, particularly the wiring. Um, some of the plumbing though, they've left like, they put new plumbing in and somewhere over here, you can see they just left the old plumbing fixture in as well and just capped it off. Uh, so it looks like it hasn't been a, a proper cleanup done for a long time. So yeah, today's task is uh, get rid of some of this excess wiring. I began already, this was a, um, a telephone jack in the uh, one side of the kitchen uh, that have come out and, and slowly pulled down. Uh, yeah, so not sure how big this is going to be. There's a lot of wires, but it's once you find the one that you don't want, it's relatively straightforward to get down. Uh, but I just want to do it methodically. Here we have a uh, telephone in the bathroom here, and I was hoping to maybe disconnect, but it looks like it's been wired deep. Oh no, I thought it was wired deep inside the wall, but actually, they just taped it together. Okay, so. Uh, I think I can cut this and then pull it from the basement. Uh, but I'm curious as to what this is. New tone. Uh, there isn't a fan on the ceiling, so it could be a fan. I'm not sure. I'm going to take it off the wall and find out the just two screws. Yeah, it is in fact a fan. Incredibly dusty fan. Uh, it doesn't work. There's no way to... It doesn't work, but it does not work. Uh, so I can't see any wiring from the phone. So I'm just gonna have to pull this cable cord from the basement. So I actually have um, a partially finished basement over on this side. So where I was up there by that that, that wall telephone in the, in the toilet, uh, there is, obviously you see the, the, the sewage pipe here, uh, but I can't get in. So 90% sure this, is the cable and I've got only one thing that I can do really is to just okay I guess I got lucky I was anticipating that was nailed in or going around a couple of bends but yeah we can get this thing down now so I have my so there was a junction box here uh, the main cable ran into this room and off towards the edge of the house uh, again so this is all telephone cabling which we're never going to use I'm pretty sure, so this one runs around here, you see I've already given it a pull down. Um, and I'm pretty sure I lose, kind of lose access to this a bit, but I think it goes up into my kitchen uh, in there. So we're gonna go upstairs and find out. So, so this is all I have in my kitchen. Uh, it's kind of, it's like they, they built the cabinets and it's, it's just in the wall. So uh, I'm pretty sure this is what the cable is. It's just thin uh, telephone cable. Uh, the normal, the kind of thing you would run previously from your phone uh, to the junction box in the wall, but they've, uh, or the outlet in the wall, but they've wired this internally as well. So I'm just gonna cut this and kind of hope for the best. I think if I cut this and then give it a pull from downstairs, uh, then it's, it's, it's gonna come down. So there's probably no chance of me getting the wire out here. So what I've done is I take the plate off the wall, cut it. This is essentially the uh, kids uh, playroom. So they kind of play with this phone. So. No harm in keeping a, uh, a redundant phone on the wall for the kids to play. I play hotel and restaurant and things like that. So uh, it's all good. I have I, I don't have much hope of pulling this one out either because it goes through the wall here and there is no basement under this area. Uh, just a very, very restrictive crawl space. So probably going to cut it off where I can. I'll maybe pull it if I can, but I've always just cut it where I can and uh, let's see what else we have. Okay, so this is actually quite impressive. Uh, this comes down and they managed to drill about a quarter of an inch from the edge of this beam. Presumably this goes up into the room above us, which I think is our uh, office room. Uh, but yeah, again, just uh, redundant cabling. So I'm gonna cut it here and then probably try and find out where in the office it comes out and, and put it from the top. As I was trying to cut it, uh, it just gave a little bit. So I, I gave it a pretty hefty tug and 
Um, it's already been cut at the other end, so absolutely another redundant wire removed. So I stopped filming because it was pretty much a repetitive task and you don't want to see um, we're just doing the same thing over and over. Uh, but what I have, I still have a lot of wires on my ceiling, a lot of piping, uh, but at least I know now everything I have up here uh, is, is there for a purpose. So I've got my, these are, these are my hot water pipes running to my radiator baseboards, baseboard radiators. Um, I got somewhere along here, I have an oil pipe which is coming overhead to my furnace. Uh, and the rest is electrical cabling uh, that you can see around and the uh, security alarm. So um, there's still a lot, I wish it was tidier, but I can't take any more down without damaging the function of the house. Uh, but this is, this is what I got out. I got, I got a fair few feet of uh, garbage wire out of there. So um, I'm, I'm reasonably happy with that. So now I know if I come down here, something's wrong and I look up everything that I have on my ceiling in my uh, basement up here, everything there um, has a purpose. So that was the, the primary objective today.